there is a structure that burned. You can see it's completely demolished. You can't even see the, the framing of what it used to be. The firefighters told me that they got here. All they could see was a plume of smoke. The smoke was so thick, they could not even see what was burning. There's a wooden bridge right now, which they say is compromised. They're having a hard time getting over it. They're not entirely sure what's even on the other side of that bridge, but obviously they are concerned about it. They believe it could be a nature conservancy. As for this building, still unclear, possibly some sort of business. But if you walk with us this way, you can see there's a sign here. And it says Camp Wildcraft, Art and Nature Summer Camp. In fact, I put on my glasses because we're seeing ash rain down. Also, the smoke is really stinging my eyes. Anthony was talking about the weather. It is really hot. It has felt like it's definitely cooled down in the last 30 minutes or so. But we had to take a breather and just realize that just walking with our fire gear, of course, my photographer holding this heavy equipment, we needed to take a minute. So you can imagine how these firefighters are feeling. We know at least, of course, one of them has been injured, but they're all working very very hard to keep the damage at a minimum. Now, about an hour ago, we told you about a building that we didn't know what it was. The fire department didn't know what it was that burned right here. And this bridge that the firefighters were having trouble crossing because the smoke was so thick and they weren't sure the bridge was safe. Well, now they have been able to cross the bridge and look what's on the other side. There's this building and the shell of the building is OK for the most part, as you can see, but the inside is destroyed. It's a total loss. It is a nature conservancy and we're going to go ahead and walk around the back and you can see firefighters actually have their hoses out trying to contain the hot spots and the flames. This was some sort of covered patio area. The firefighters aren't even sure what it was because it was so thick with smoke by the time they were able to get back here and start putting out the flames. So that's sort of what the firefighters are dealing with. They see hot spots, they see flames, they go to it, they try and put it out. But the smoke, as you can see in the area, is extremely thick. It's it does not smell good. It's difficult to breathe. And it's also, of course, been very hot today. So difficult firefighting conditions as these flames just sort of hopscotch all over the Calabasas area. We're going to go walk up to try and talk to Dennis Cross, who has been here all afternoon fighting this fire in charge of this area. Thanks for bearing with us. It's a very active situation. The firefighters are busy. They're trying to give us information, but obviously their priority is keeping this fire from spreading, damaging, damaging homes, and of course, hurting any people that might be in the way. Dennis, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can we get that update from you and just how this area has been? I know you guys have been working very hard. Yeah, well, what I can tell you is in this old Topanga Canyon Road in Mulholland area, we are fortunate most of the, eva the residents have evacuated. I moved a little bit farther down Mulholland to the command post, and it's actually at Calabasas High School. And I want to give you a look at what this is entailing. Multiple agencies. We've got the L.A. County Sheriff's Department and the California Highway Patrol dealing with evacuations. I'm told that there are about 3,000 homes affected. Another 5,000 people. It's unclear how many structures have burned at this time. But this is where all of the first responders, there's multiple fire departments here. Of course, L.A. County Fire is in charge. L.A. City Fire and Ventura Fire are also here right now trying to cope with this fire, which is at 0% containment. That is the latest information. I was just conferring with all of the fire captains about that. So a very complicated operation. This is where they get all of the information from their helicopter in the air, which is, of course, can see where the fire was burning. They talked to their battalion chiefs in the field who are running the crews actually fighting to fire to talk about how they're doing, what's burning, what's not burning, where is it near homes, and it all comes into this information center, and that's how they're able to deploy more firefighters to get a handle on this fire. Joining us live now is Richie Licone. I know you guys have been working very hard to deal with this fire. Unfortunately, it's at 0% containment, and now, of course, it's nightfall, which means you lose some of your air resources. What does this look like? What does this fire look like throughout the rest of the night? Again, earlier in the day, the heat was very high. The temperature of the ground was high. Is this the CHP official who's going to come speak to us? Okay. Hi, Kate Larson. Hi, Leland Tang. We're live on camera right now. Okay. Um, we want to inform our viewers about what's going on with the evacuations. We've just been talking about the scope of the fire. What can you tell us? So right now we have certain areas that are under mandatory evacuations until 8 a.m. Well, and explain sort of how this works. Right now you guys are saying 200 acres because that's what the helicopter can sort of see the area that's burning. But that doesn't mean every single acre is burning. So it could go up 
or down possibly. That's correct. It's an estimate from the from the air. So once we get crews on the ground that can walk the full perimeter of a fire, they can GPS it and map it out and give us the exact acreage. And we're just about to have a press conference here at Calabasas High School, but we're going to quickly talk to Deputy Chief Richardson with the LA County Fire. LA County Fire has been in charge of this firefight since this afternoon. Now we're approaching midnight overnight. How are you guys going to deal with this overnight? What's the latest on the numbers? How are all the firefighters doing? Uh, they're doing great. You know, uh, this is what we train for, you know, throughout the year. Uh, we know that fire season is year round for us. I'm sure it's been a struggle to try and convince people to leave everything behind. Well, obviously, it's a scary event. Uh, anytime you have a fire in the area, it's, it's uh, it, uh, you know, people are on edge. But the thing here, the residents here have prepared for this. The, we've, we've conducted drills. We talked to the residents. We, uh, we spend time going out there and educating along with the LA County Fire Department. So it's nothing new. I mean, obviously it's, it's scary when it happens, but I can tell you that the residents here have been very cooperative. They've been working very well with the Ohio Patrol, LAP, and the LA County Sheriff's Department and fire. So it's been, it's been outstanding actually. Commander Benedict, thank you so much for the yeah. LA County Sheriff's thank Department. You. So that's the latest. We've still got 15% containment on this fire, but they have increased the acreage from 200 to 400 acres. That's the latest here live at Calabasas High School. I'm Kate Larson. Back to you.